Today we are going to discuss about how to implement bundling and minification in ASP.NET MVC. Let's consider what do you mean by bundling in ASP.NET MVC. Bundling means combining multiple files into single file so that there will be having less HTTP request to the server. If there is less HTTP request to the server, that means the page load time will be reduced. Mainly the bundling is done for CSS and JS files. Let's consider what do you mean by minification in ASP.NET MVC. Minification means removing the unwanted comments, space, line breaks from the code. Mainly the minification is done for CSS and JS file. By implementing the minification, we can reduce the size of the file that needs to be transferred from the server. Let's consider how to implement bundling and minification in ASP.NET MVC. For that, let's open the solution. This is my solution, Technomark, and it navigates to App Stat folder. In that, you can see bundle config.cs. Click on that. Yes. You can see there is a method which is called register bundles, inside which we can register the bundling of the JavaScript and the CSS files. Let's consider how to do the bundling of JavaScript files. This is the code. We need to call script bundle and the name of the bundling is bundles slash jQuery. Whatever files that needs to bundle that comes under include section. We need to append all the JS file that needs to be bundled. If we want all the files which is under script folder that needs to be bundled then we can do something like this. Just delete this and put a star. By this way we can say that all the files under script folder will be bundled. In some other case if we want some JavaScript files which start with jQuery only that needs to be bundled we have to do like this jQuery and then append a star. When we do the bundling of CSS file instead of script bundles we have to say style bundle and the name should be at the beginning content slash theme slash CSS this can be anything and all the files that needs to bundle should come under include section. Let's consider how to register and invoke the bundle files. First of all, registering should be done on the global.asx page. For that, let's open the solution. This is my solution. Go to the global.asx page. Here you can see we have already registered bundle config dot register bundles. We have taken this method from bundleconfig.cs. Instead bundle config, you can see the method is register bundles. We have registered that method in global.asac application start method. In global.asac space, instead application start method, we have to append bundle table dot enable optimization equal to true. Let's consider how to invoke the bundle files on view or layout. For that, let's open the solution. As you can see, this is my layout. We have already created some bundles on bundle config file. The name should be bundle slash jQuery, bundle slash jQuery UI. These are the bundling of JavaScript files. As well as you can see, there are another bundle for CSS file also. The name should be content slash CSS and content slash theme slash base dot CSS. And these are the bundle for CSS files. What we need is we need to invoke this on layout. Now this is the code for invoking the CSS bundling. Instead of script, we can say it is style, styles dot render and the name of the CSS bundle. And this is the code for invoking the JavaScript bundles. Instead of styles, we have to say script, scripts dot render and the name of the JavaScript bundle. By doing this much step, that means bundling, registering, and then invoking, would we'll ensure that we have implemented the bundling and the minification process. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.